So I guess AR-15 is just another word for freedom, isn't it? What insanity continues to go on? I can't believe that in Ohio, a state not far from Ontario, who just elected a Trump mini Trump, although he's even fatter than Trump. He's just a revolting man. And I shouldn't make fun of his girth, but his policies are down there in the sewer. So I hear that the GOP, or the GQP as we should probably call them, wants to arm teachers in Ohio. Now, knowing a teacher that lives in Ohio, this particularly has disturbed me greatly in thinking that more guns are the solution to the daily slaughter that goes on in America. And the politicians who routinely seem to be more interested in not offending the gun maniacs and the NRA and all those slimy bottom feeders that continue to manipulate the law regardless of how many innocent lives it takes. It doesn't matter because that is subservient to their getting their fat checks from the NRA. Guns. What a wonderful thing to base one's culture on. A culture of death. A culture of destruction. A culture where human life is cheap and animal life is even cheaper. So let me get this straight. Republicans want to arm teachers where a supposedly well-trained full police force were afraid to go in and deal with an 18-year-old with an AR-15. But they expect a grade school teacher to deal with it by being armed. Arm everybody. That's the, that's the solution to guns. Sure, everywhere you go, people will have guns. And sure, there'll be a few accidents and a few hundred thousand blown away. But the gun manufacturers will be happy. This is the sign of an empire in decline. Unmistakable sign of it. The citizenry turning on each other and violence increasing as a result. Meanwhile, the UN, the UN chief is saying, we're on target to incinerating ourselves. But that doesn't matter because the EU is, is actually planning some more gas infrastructure to, to keep things heating up because they just want a, a nice suntan or something. I don't know. Eh, it's all about the money, isn't it? It's always about the money. Better yet, let's make it mandatory to have a death-dealing gun on you at all times. Uh, surgeons, while they're doing their operation, they should make sure that they have a high-caliber pistol within easy access. Honestly, the movie Idiocracy was obviously a documentary when we get to the stage in society where everybody starts turning on each other and truth is no longer truth but sort of maybe truth or choose your truth choose your facts it's all signs of an empire in decay but it's not just an empire it's the entire planet in decay 
It's the abuse that has been heaped upon the planet Earth for many, many years with no heed paid to anything but how to exploit it further. So maybe this is all written ahead of time. Maybe it's supposed to happen. Maybe it's like the entire class has failed the final exam. We live in a time when the foolish and the ignorant rise to great heights, while the wise and the philosophers are simply tread underfoot. We can choose to dwell on the, our past, the past hurts that have been done to us. We can choose to carry that burden around of resentment, of non-forgiveness. It's a very big, deep, heavy burden to yeah, haul around with you. And the most miserable people in the world are people that don't know how to put the past behind them, to forgive, to live another day in peace with your neighbor. I have to explain, I do not want to know how poorly the channel does or how well it does because it's irrelevant. That doesn't really matter. What matters to me is that Veg continues on to be a fly in the ointment, a little nuisance in the algo. You know what I mean? Like a little thing that they just don't know what to do with. Anyway, I discovered that <laughs> this is a month ago and I, I didn't know because I, like I said, I studiously avoid looking at any analytics and I realized that Walmart has put an ad on the Veggie channel. So I've learned from my channel that you can get a Ronco Vegematic Deluxe for $27.75 from Walmart. I can't believe this. It's so, I'm flattered, uh, yet oddly disgusted by this. <laughs> but what can you do? It's the veg channel now. So hopefully the food chopper thing, there's a couple of other food choppers that they were selling on there like for $100. Uh, I don't remember the brand name, but it's <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Capitalism, what a wonderful thing we have devised here. These things can all drive you crazy if you let it. And I'm no longer crazy enough to let it. So thank you for sticking by the Veg channel for many years. Many of you, most of my viewers, the same names have appeared in the comments for years and years. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Always look on the bright side of life. I think it's up there that way. Uh, I kind of got confused on the way to looking for the bright side. It's around here somewhere. I'll talk to you all soon. Don't forget to uh, do all the YouTube rituals, the, uh, the, the hitting on the bell ritual and the, the, uh, the finger ritual, or the thumb thing, right? I don't want it. I don't know. Spread it around uh, if you so choose. I don't know. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't. Except maybe people don't like me. <laughs> uh, on and on it goes. As my friend Basil likes to say, and so it goes. And so it goes, and so it goes, and so I'm gone.